All right, guys, welcome to the last episode of this SEO mini course. Let's talk about local SEO. So inside of local SEO, there's three main things that we need to cover. Number one, our Google business profile. Number two, our website. And number three, off page. A lot of things we need to talk about there. So let's start off with that Google business profile or that Google My Business as it used to be called. So as you guys can imagine, that Google business profile is gonna be essential inside of local SEO. There's gonna be a huge chunk of traffic that is searching for your business, for your service that you're offering that doesn't even scroll beneath the map. They choose the business that they're going to work with based exclusively off of the listings that they see on that map pack that we're going to talk about now. So we do need to make sure that we're doing everything correctly and that we're ranking well inside of the map pack. So I do want to walk you guys through all the right things that we need to be doing. And we're going to be using my fake dentist, Google My Business listing. That was actually one of the first things that got me clients. You guys can watch that video right here. So let's get into it. I'm just going to click on edit profile right here. As you guys can see, this is still an active business on Google, even though this is completely fake. It was purely a test and experiment and is now great content for my YouTube channel. So we're going to click on edit profile here. And now let's walk through the most important things that we need to cover. So obviously our business name, be straightforward with that. If you do have that main keyword that you're targeting inside of your business, then that's phenomenal. If you don't, don't try and overdo it because Google might catch up to that or you can have competitors that complaint. So make sure we're filling in that business name, our business category. This is really important. Make sure we're very specific with that business category. So Google knows very, very clearly what we're doing. That business description, we obviously want to fill in that description with a few keywords. Make sure that it makes sense. It's not just keyword stuffed content, right? Opening date, contact information. So our phone number is going to be very important. Our business name is going to be very important. And our address is also going to be very important. More on that in a second. We also have our website here, which we can't forget about a uh, short name and then our address, as I mentioned before. So our name, our address and our phone number are three very important things inside of local SEO. So it's our NAP. And this is something that we're going to talk about later when we talk about citations. But we do want to make sure that we include everything correctly because we're going to be taking this specific information and spreading it around a bunch of citations that we're going to talk about in just a second. So our service area, this is also very important. We want to make sure that we're targeting the right areas, all the areas that we can provide business to our opening hours. Everything here is quite self-explanatory, right? This is the basic side of that Google business profile. Now let's move on to photos. We do want to make sure that we've added as many photos as possible to our Google business profile because when we see that Google business profile directly on Google, we're going to see the first thing that we see is that main image. We do see that logo as well, or that smaller image in here. Uh, we can see the outside is something that Google provides. And these are all obviously fake images, stock images that I added just to make sure that I could fill this up. So also highly recommend a video. Customers love interacting with a video. So if you have a video, maybe you can film your office or the specific location of your business. That'd be phenomenal just for people to see that you are a real business and you do have a real location, right? So we do want to make sure that we've added as many photos as possible. Now, next, I want to talk about our services. So this is something really important that a lot of people forget to do inside of local SEO. And that's just filling in all the different types of services that you offer in your dental clinic, for example. So I can add a custom service here and just fill that out. There's a couple examples here. So just teeth whitening. And I just made sure to fill that in with all the different things that this fake dentist is offering. So highly recommend filling in as many of these services as possible. Obviously, make sure these are services that you offer. This is also going to help you later when you're working on your website to make sure that you've created landing pages for all these different services. So make sure you've added in the right service and you do fill it in with a decent chunk of content. So once we have services covered, then we're going to talk about posts. So these posts are basically small blog posts that you can add to your Google business profile. And it basically just shows your customer that you're active, that you're posting. You can talk about different discounts and different updates of your business. And as you guys can see, there's a decent amount of views coming to this specific post. Again, obviously this is all fake, which is kind of unfortunate, but these are all just tests to see how this works, right? Also add images. We're going to be talking about posts later. Once we talk about all the changes we need to make on our website. The last thing I want to talk about here for our Google business profile is asking for reviews. So reviews are going to be an essential part of ranking well inside of local SEO, inside of that map pack, we do need to have some type of incentive 
incentive for our customers to leave a review. If we can have reviews with our main keyword in there, with our services in there, with our location in there, and that's going to be phenomenal. Google will oftentimes pull up some of these reviews and find that text with that specific keyword and make that text bold. So it's super obvious inside of the search results. So we're going to talk about that a little bit more later when we talk about off page, but that's definitely something to keep in mind. So nothing too complicated on the Google business profile here. We just need to make sure that we're filling up absolutely everything with as much detailed info as possible. Let's talk about our website now, guys. So inside of local SEO, you might think that it's not really that important to have a website, but even if your Google business profile is showing up correctly and ranking well inside of the map pack, it isn't rare for Google to pull information from your website and give you that extra level of authority. Let me give you guys an example here. Let's say I look up teeth whitening services and we're just going to scroll down to the map. We're going to see that this right here, guys, their website mentions dental whitening treatment. This is something that might not be super available, super obvious on their Google business profile, but we can see that Google is pulling content from their website. So it's super important to work on our website. Now let's talk about all the main things we have to do. And we can also check out that fake website of mine. The first thing we need to focus on is to make sure that that homepage is targeting that main keyword. So that main keyword that you're going after, in my case, it's Kitsilano Dentist. You can find that this right here is the H1, that main keyword that I want to target. And as that homepage grows, as my website grows, that homepage is most likely going to be the page with most authority. And as a result, it's going to help me rank. So that's the first thing. Number two, we want to set up any location pages. So if we have multiple locations, I also recommend setting up multiple Google business profiles. So additionally, what we're going to do there is every time that we create a new location, every time that we have a new Google business profile, we're going to make sure to connect that new Google business profile with the specific landing page that we've created for that location. So we do want to make sure that we create different pages for each location that we're targeting. And we also want to set up service pages. Now, this is super important. We can have a really simple structure for a lot of these pages, just have that main keyword as that H1 and then some content under it with relevant subheadings. And I'd also add some structured data as FAQs answering really common questions that we can find on Google for that specific topic. These service pages, guys, are extremely powerful because we're going to be able to rank for those longer tail keywords that are more specific, but are still very, very useful to us. And the fourth thing we need to worry about for our local SEO website is our blog. So again, even though it might not make a lot of sense to have a blog for a local business, it's not going to be as powerful as in other SEO strategies, like if you have a SaaS or if you have an e-commerce, but it's very important, guys, because we can add a lot of topical authority. We can show Google that we're active and that we're posting a lot of high quality content that's related to that main business that we're targeting. An extra thing here is that we can then turn those blog posts into your Google business profile posts, right? So as you guys saw before here, we can add a post here where in that post, we can basically link back to that blog post. And now we're active on our Google business profile. We're active on our blog and it's well connected between both sides. Our customers are going to see that we're posting a lot of high quality quality content. Highly recommend working on all of these things on our website. It's a lot more powerful than you'd expect. And the last thing here, guys, is talking about off page. So the first thing is local citations. So these are the equivalent of backlinks inside of local SEO. And what we want to do is we basically want to add that NAP that we talked about at the start. So our name, our address and our phone number, we need to make sure that they're the exact copy that we've added inside of our Google business profile. And then we basically want to spread our NAP. We want to add them to as many local directories and relevant directories as possible. So if I'm a dentist, I'm going to try and find as many dental directories as possible and make sure that I'm adding all of my info there. This is going to give Google that extra level of authority just to see that you have the same info on a bunch of other relevant websites. Number two, we also want to obviously work on backlinks and link building to our website. The higher authority we have for our website, the better we're going to do on Google Maps. Obviously, we need to be doing things right on both sides, but higher authority is definitely going to help us rank. And the third thing, guys, that I already spoke about is reviews. Reviews are the bread and butter of growth inside of Google Maps. We need to make sure we're creating some type of system that allows our happy customers to be posting constant reviews. That's really going to take us over to the next level. And that's it, guys. That's it for this little mini SEO course. As always, if you guys want a more in-depth breakdown, then definitely check the link in the description for my full SEO course, seven hours of a lot of SEO content. I go very in depth in all the topics covered in this course. There's also going to be a Black Friday discount coming soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. 
Thanks for sticking till the end, guys. I'll see you in the next one.